Hello all my big juicy mammals and welcome back to a brand new video where today I've got a debate. I've got something really, really important to discuss and it involves the mob votes. Yes, the mob votes of October um 2023 now if you're watching this in the future then like this has no relation to you but i guess you know the result of the mob vote if you're from the future but basically i feel like i have a duty i feel like i have a duty to tell you guys and inform you guys about my opinion and perhaps persuade your opinion on what mob should win the vote so i'm no politician right so i have very little experience in persuasion and stuff like this but i'm gonna try my best so for those of you that probably don't know or do know um the mobs that were in the vote consist of the crab the armadillo and the penguin now they're all pretty mid mobs i'm not gonna lie they're all pretty mid but a lot of people are voting or are going to vote for a mob which I cannot see any actual benefit of it being in the game, you know? It's like those delinquents you see outside of estate council houses, you know? Like, the ones that don't contribute to society at all because they're busy smoking weed and getting high off of, like, a incredibly low credit score. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is... Can you not beat me? Bro, are you actually racist, you little pickle? <laughs> okay, well, as I was trying to say before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, there is a mob which literally serves no purpose to the game, apart from, ooh, it looks cute. And yeah, Penguin, I'm talking about you. You little crappy Batman villain, I'm talking about you, okay? Now, yeah, the penguin might look like the triple top G of cute animals, all right? He might have big, voluptuous mammal balls, all right? But what he doesn't have is purpose. So what if he makes boats move faster, all right? Who the hell uses a boat? Yeah, okay, you're, you're, you're probably thinking, oh, hey, lolcat, I use a boat. Yeah, at the start of the game. And you know what's the fastest bit or section of the game that people go through when they play Minecraft? It's the beginning, because it's pretty easy to get iron armor and, and you know, become Giga Chad in no time. I mean, heck, there's freaking speed runs that are like under 10 minutes. Like, you can literally beat the game in under 10 minutes. Like, bruh, come on, come on. The point I'm trying to make is the movement capabilities of boats have been neglected for a very long time, but doing that via a mob is just not the way to go, man. Like, yeah, the penguin's cute, but other than the boat movement, he doesn't do anything else. And by the time, you know, you care enough about collecting a penguin to have in your home, you probably already got an elytra. You don't need no penguin, all right? You, you ain't afraid of no ghost, all right? So, you know, I just got a pumpkinator's pump. Okay, whatever. So, like, you, you can already get things like elytras. You can get things like tridents. You know, there is literally... <sighs> now I've calmed down. What I'm trying to say is the penguin is purely useful for looking like a cute animal. We already have so many cute animals in Minecraft, and I'm going to put pictures of them up on the screen right now and i mean i'm all for cute animals i'm all for having more mobs in the game but for something that happens like a couple times a year that is so detrimental to the game's player replayability and progression i just feel like we need something more we need a more impactful mob so if you do anything on the mob vote please do not vote for the penguin please i'm begging you all right i'm telling you bro's gonna add more cringe to the game than cuteness all right I'm, I'm just telling you bro it's gonna be it's gonna be a glow squid moment you know everyone thought the glow squid was cool up until it literally did one thing which is give you glow ink sacs and after that everyone was like yeah okay that's pretty crap so please please do not vote for penguin now we also have the armadillo and crab and now these are some of the cooler mobs um 
So these consist of the ability to craft armor for your wolves and stuff, which I'll admit that's pretty epic. That is, that is pretty epic, but I'll come on to my um to my controversy with that idea in 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 just a second. So Okay, so if you didn't hate me already for telling you not to vote for the penguin, you're going to hate me even more for, for telling you not to vote for the armadillo, right? Um, and it's a pretty simple reason, all right? I want you to log into your hardcore, your survival worlds, whatever the frick you play, and tell me, do you really use a wolf? Do you really use pets in minecraft to fight all right do you really whip out a wolf spawn egg in sky wars or bed wars do you really do that because the answer that you're trying to get the answer that you're trying to find is no you don't all right for me and i think for many others no one uses pets for pvp no one does it all right whether you're fighting mobs whether you're fighting players like pets are just there as a kind of decoration to your house you know it gives you a purpose to build a pet home a kennel whatever the hell you want to build but it, they just really don't do much because you can pretty much kill everything yourself way more efficiently and yeah it's tragic when your pets die but that's the thing. No one really puts them out in battle because they're too precious, you know? They don't want them to die. So what I'm trying to say is the armor for your pet is pretty useless, you know? Because we already, as a community, as a Minecraft player base, like, we don't use pets in battle. I, I don't know how to describe this. I don't, I don't know how to tell this. And you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you do use pets in battle. And that that is cool. I mean, I respect that. But also, what the frick are you doing, bro? You're endangering your pet's whole life just because you want to have a companion. Anyway, that's besides the point. Just think about it, please. Just think about it. All right, just think about it. Is it really worth it, man? Is it really worth it to get armor for your pets? Now... What I'm getting from the mob reveal trailer is the fact that it's not going to be a tier list of armors either. It's just going to be one singular armor type. Um, because obviously we're not going to have diamond, gold, and iron armor for our pets now. We're, we're just going to have armadillion armor for our pets. Which again is cool. It does sound cool. And trust me, if like I, I would have wanted it in the game anyway just as something that's actually in the game. But, um, yeah, they won't allow that, which is understandable, but also bullcrap. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is it's kind of like a gimmick, right? It's kind of like a gimmick. Just they wanted to add something in that actually sounds cool. But the moment you take actual time to think about it and reflect upon what it actually does or adds to the game, it doesn't do anything. All right. And I guess this is a, a really good segue onto the crab. Now, Again, it's not the cutest mob. It's arguably the most boringly designed mob, but it's the functionality that it offers and the potential game-changing movement that it might cause for certain communities or sub-communities within Minecraft that is compelling. And this comes in the form of the crab claw, you know, the big goddamn giant middle finger that bro just casually has. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it basically increases your reach. Now, we don't know by how much. We don't know if it's upgradable, enchantable, um, if that's even a word. But the point I'm trying to make is that basically revolutionizes to some extent the action of building, PvP, um, mining, etc, etc. Like, imagine if you could combine it with redstone i mean it's 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 kind of got the copper texture so it's giving me the vibes of like you know copper or, or redstone so imagine if you could combine it with that um and, and and do all of this cool stuff with some extra block reach um it's just got so much capability so much potential that it's a really cool idea that's just placed on the wrong mob all right it's placed on the most boring mob 
but I think that's for a specific reason. Oh, how am I alive? Okay, I need to heal up. I need to heal up. Oh my god, how am I alive? What the hell? Um, but yeah, I, I think that's done for a specific reason. Um, because if we look back, all right, and now we're getting into some speculative stuff, all right? We're getting into some speculative stuff. But if you look back at all the previous mob votes, they've kind of been influenced a bit by Mojang themselves, you know? They kind of show off the mobs which they intend to be implemented into the game um, in a better light than the mobs that they don't really want implemented into the game. Um, and now, of course, this is speculative, so you can, you can, you can argue with me on this point, you know, none of the other points in the, in the video, but you can argue with me on this point and, and dispute it. Um, but it's kind of like advertising in a way. It's like you would advertise, um, a product that you want to, you know, sell more, um, better than the products you don't want them to sell more. And you might be asking, well, Lolcat, why would anybody want their products to sell less? And that's a good question. And I think it has some relation to do with the law of Minecraft. I think the developers have a somewhat idea of what they are hinting to and, and what they want. Um, the, the kind of, not storyline, but the kind of medium of the game to stray towards and they want to try and stick to that as much as possible and i get that because minecraft's meant to be a really creative game so it's really hard to adapt a story into something so creative and, and something so free um and that's also why many creative artists normally put restrictions on themselves when they're creating pieces of artwork because it's easier to stimulate ideas with constraint i mean i don't know think of think of it this way if you're an actor um you normally have a stimulus in your warm-up sessions right i don't know if you, any of you do drama on, and we just died but if any of you do drama at school or acting in general you normally have a stimulus you you, you normally have something to go off of same with potentially creative writing you have a theme a word that you go off of to try and make your idea uh, around you know you have some sort of not restriction but you have some sort of gateway into your ideas being fleshed out and that's what the mob votes are basically they're mobs which symbolize law in a way um and now this might seem seem really far-fetched and it is honestly i'm i don't script these videos um because i just like to say what's on my mind even if it doesn't make any sense whatsoever so you know you can correct me if i'm wrong i mean please do you know the extra comments on the video is uh real nice for the algorithm but um but yeah it, it just seems like the mobs which have been winning the mob votes recently have been really like law inspired if you know what i mean like they've been really driven by law like the sniffer for example so intertwined intertwined with that archaeology archaeological archaeology yeah, that's the word. Archaeology aspect to the game, which they have been wanting to add for ages. Um, since like 1.17, I believe. Or whenever the loot bag was in the game, they've been wanting to, you know, add archaeology and hint towards it. So, yeah, what I'm trying to say is the mob votes represent a direction in which the game could go. And I think that for some reason, they want the penguin to win. Um, and, you know, it's very easy to appeal to the child audience by using cute animals, but come on, come on. As a sentient human race, as thinking, living, breathing creatures, we must not bend to the ideals of cuteness, and we must go forth and implement game changes which actually change the game. Alright, and that, my friends, comes in the form of crabs and crab claws. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know today it was more of me just shouting at you guys <laughs> because I really don't want the penguin to win, man. I'm passionate about Minecraft and I, I do not want that freaking mammal bulging little chicken to win. All right, I, I don't want it to win. And if it does win, 
You better bet I'm gonna make a follow-up video. <laughs> you better bet. Anyway, thank you all so much for the support on the uh, Bedwars videos recently. You, you, you mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, and end off this video with hopefully a win. Um, but yeah, if you do want to click off the video right now, feel free to. Um, but I'm just gonna leave this bit in the video because you know I'm I'm in, I'm in a concentration. Okay, never mind. Screw screw Bedwars. Go eat a chicken. <laughs> okay, you know what now? Nah, frick Bedwars, bro. Bedwars can go eat my left toe. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.